All right, all right, all right. Okay, so welcome in, guys. My name is Jordan Off, and I recently played a game called Basement. It is like a side-scrolling strategy um, kind of kingdom builder, per se. Except the kingdom is actually a drug business. It. Um, this is going to be a review and some tips for the game, and just a little bit of feedback. Uh, for anyone who might be thinking about picking it up. So if that's interesting to you guys, keep watching. Okay, so first of all, the the game is really interesting. It's got like a nice storyline. I actually really enjoy the the cinematics and the like the animation of it, uh, the pictures. Uh, the meat and tear is really funny. There's a lot of parody in there. Uh, lots of like comedy value, which is also really, I mean, it's it's needed. In a game where you're literally building a drug empire from your creepy uncle's basement. <laughs> so, uh, things I would say about this game uh, from the start uh, to be aware of is there is some. Uh, well, I'm having like an audio glitch with it, where the whenever you load it up, the audio always starts at the default audio, which is way too loud. Uh, so pretty much whenever I load up, I hit the settings, uh, go into the audio settings, press apply because it does save what you change it to if you like turn it down, uh, but you just need to reapply it after uh, every load, um, which let's be honest guys, there's going to be a lot of loadings. That's That includes every restart, every uh, reload checkpoint, you need to reset the audio. A little bit annoying, I wish they'd fix that honestly, uh, it's probably a really basic fix as well. Uh, another point about this game is it is really hard, okay? I'm just going to put this out there, guys. This is a really hard game. Like, I usually pick up games really easily, uh, but this this one uh, is, is pretty tricky. Um, that's probably part of the beauty of it, I would say. Uh, it's the, the, the joy of picking up and learning something, which is a real challenge and actually doing well in it. So... Uh, something to pay attention to uh, in the game is the missions. Even though you play the mission, the main storyline on easy, uh, that's pretty much it's that's it, the the game trying to teach you about the game. Uh, so it's going to take you through and be like, oh look, you've unlocked this. Oh now you can do this, and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, it's quite long, so getting through that takes quite some time, and it's really hard. I've never experienced a tutorial. <laughs> which is trying to teach you mechanics of the game being so damn hard to the point where I actually quit and then thought I'm going to load up Sandbox uh, because this is just too tough. Loaded up Sandbox and uh, yeah, to put everything on easy, lovely, put it all in there, uh, started the game and there's so much, so many p new characters New, di new buildings, new different types of rooms that I have no clue about because I didn't get that far in the main storyline because it was too damn hard. So, that's something to maybe pay attention to. I think it would be a good idea to maybe look up... I mean, there, I don't think there is any because honestly, I've looked up, tried to look up uh, reviews or like guides for this game and I can't find any. So, what I might do is uh, do one myself because... I imagine people are still playing this game. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, despite all of its, like, struggles with all of the struggles with this game, I'm really enjoying it. A little bit addicted. Uh, and I kind of want to see see where it goes and see how far I can actually get. Um, I'm yet to beat the game on easy. So, uh, if you do better, please let me know in the comments. Uh, because I I'll be super jealous. Uh, and maybe we can, uh, we can have a chat. And I can maybe learn a bit about the game from you guys. So, um, any other things about this game uh, to pay attention to are the uh, mechanics within the game. So, the idea is you've got this drug empire. You need to balance a bunch of different things. Uh, the main ones being the power for each building. You need power to create new rooms uh, like weed rooms and all these other drugs, different rooms, um, locker rooms where you have to build locker rooms and upgrade them to get extra personnel space so you can hire new people. Uh, you have to um, juggle hiring staff. Like juggling hiring staff, I think, is one of the main mechanics, and it kind of is is it's it's what's going to help you win if you if you have really good personnel management. It does kind of allude to that at the start of the tutorial, so maybe. 
that's something to pay attention to. Uh, so you have a bunch of different characters that are each proficient in different things. Um, I think one very good tactic and point that I'll give to everyone is at the very, very end of each day, because what happens is at midnight every day, uh, you pay your staff. So you pay your staff for, for, the day, for the day's work. That means you're going to be paying. If you hire a, a member of staff at 11 p.m., you will pay up front for that member of staff, and then you will also pay for a day's worth of work. So what I do suggest to people is when it gets to about 11 p.m. every day, pause, like um, slow the game right down, uh, look at your staff and think, who do I not need? Fire any staff. Uh, you can do that really quickly by clicking on the the uh, staff icon at the very top, which is like the two locker looking lines. Um, you look through your staff, see who you don't need and fire them before it gets to midnight. And then at the start of each day, think about who you do need. So do you need some uh, people who are proficient at fighting to go and take over uh, an opposition's business? Do you need some extra cooks because you're running low on um, supplies? Things like that. Uh, is really going to help you with the mechanics of the game because it absolutely cripples you to have a ginormous staff bill and you're not being as efficient as you can be. Uh, another thing to pay attention to is completely upgrading your rooms. So you don't want to spam as many of the, the lowest tier room as possible because each of the lowest tier rooms require a staff member. Whereas if you have one staff member in one room that's super, it's like fully upgraded, that's going to be much more profitable um, than having, um, you know, a bunch of level one um, rooms. I think all in all, uh, this game is a really good experience. I think it's probably going to be pretty cheap to get. I think I got this from Humble Bundle. Um, and you can get a code to uh, get it from Humble Bundle down below. I'm really happy with this game. I think it's very enjoyable, um, addictive. And it's kind of just one of those games where you can really just grind at it and like really learn a bit about it and fail and then reload and then fail uh, as long as you pick up those few different things i said about like the volume um, and the things like that you should be good to go also remember to save the game um the automatic saves don't happen very often so save the game frequently uh have fun with basement guys i would probably give this game um at the minute i'd probably give it you know two two to three out of five for like the uh, quality of the, the the development of the game uh, just because there's a few real base issues that need to be worked on but for enjoyment wise i would give this a solid three to four out of five um i mean it's a testament that i'm still playing it i'm still a little bit addicted to it so take from that what you want have an awesome day and take care guys